हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑक्टोपस मैथ बाय साहिबा दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ मिडिल टर्म ब्रेकिंग दिस हैपेंस विद अ थ्री टर्म एक्सप्रेशन सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू चेक द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन दैट इट्स अरेंज्ड इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ए स्क्वायर ए एंड देन नो ए It can also be arranged in ascending order as 8 plus 9a plus a squared or in some cases you may find the squared term negative these are the two things that you need to avoid as beginner level so in your rough column i need you to make two headings one is sum where you're going to write the middle term which is positive 9a and then under the heading of product you must write the product of the first and last terms which is positive 8a square in this case now i want you to think of two numbers when you add them you get 9a and then when you multiply the same two numbers you get positive 8a squared those two numbers are positive a and positive 8a and these two numbers multiply together and get positive 8a square so these are the two numbers that our middle term will be broken into so i'm going to write the first and last terms as they are and then as the name suggests middle term break in our middle term 9a will be broken into these two numbers which is 1a and 8a the sequence doesn't matter that you write a first and then 8a or 8a plus a it doesn't matter now do not add these two middle terms that are 1a and 8a because if you add them you will get 9a and it will be of no use now i'm going to split this four terms into groups of two in the first pair we can see that a is common so we are going to write it outside the bracket and then this a is divided by both the above numbers which is a square and 1a so we are left with a plus 1 inside the bracket and for the other pair we can see that 8 is common so we are going to write it outside the bracket and we will be left with a plus 1 inside the bracket because 8a divided by 8 is a and 8 divided by 8 is 1 and by looking at these two numbers we can see that the bracket a plus 1 is common in both so we can write this bracket outside as it's common and then we are going to be left with a in the first and then 8 in the second so a plus 1 and a plus 8 are the two factors of a square plus 9a plus 8 that means these two numbers can divide the expression a square plus 9a plus 8 without leaving any remainders finding out the area is one practical example of factorization so let's split a plus 8 and a plus 1 into these rectangles and see if we get the same area when they are multiplied so the height of the rectangle is 1 plus a or a plus 1 and the base of the rectangle is a plus 8 So if I want to multiply the two brackets a plus 1 and a plus 8 I could split the whole rectangle into four different rectangles. So for the first rectangle whose height is 1 and base is a the area is going to be a. For the second rectangle on the right side whose height is 1 and base is 8 so the area is going to be 8. for the third rectangle whose height and base both are a the area of that particular square will be a squared and the area of the last rectangle will be 8a so that means if we multiply the two brackets a plus 1 and a plus 8 we will get a plus 8 plus a squared plus 8a and by further arrangement and simplification we get a squared plus 9a plus 8 so a square plus 9a plus 8 is the expanded form of a plus 1 and a plus 8 this whole process on the right is just an explanation and verification of the process so if the question says to factorize a square plus 9a plus 8 you must end 
on a plus 1 and a plus 8 in the bracket. If you like my video, share it with your friends and spread the knowledge. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Octopus Math by Sahiba for more videos.